Welcome to the channel of the Roving Veterans. I'm Rob. And I'm Bethany. And don't forget about our dog, the Traveling Maverick. We chose our name because we are V, and we're also both military veterans. We bought our first camper in 2020 and been full-time ever since. On this episode, after a week in Kanab, we're headed to Sand Hollow State Park in Hurricane. This is a Utah State Park where you can off-road the trails or cool off in the reservoir during the hot summers. Let's go! If you've never been to Southern Utah, one thing I will say is there is absolutely phenomenal views pretty much everywhere. Getting gas at Sinclair, and look at this. They have air, water, and an RV dump station here at this Sinclair, which is amazing. Also, in case you're curious, diesel, ethanol free, unleaded plus and premium. If you have any of those off-road vehicles that you don't want to put ethanol in, good place to stop. Rob's getting gas to fill up the toy hauler now. This is pretty much Zion National Park country right here. You're right outside of Zion here. Oh, in Hurricane, Utah. That's where we're at. That's where this is. Well, this is going to be our first night in Sand Hollow State Park, and it is currently 8.52 p.m. The sun's still going down. Look, Look at 8.52 p.m. In other words, <laughs> our time is still all over the place. We can't get it figured out. It's like almost 9 o'clock at night, but it's the middle of the day looking, so... This is just a quick walk through of the bathrooms. Pretty nice, not bad. Not bad. And these are the showers here at Sand Hollow. So the time out here will really like throw you off. I know I keep saying that, but it's nine o'clock at night. Nine o'clock at night. There's still people out there jet skiing on the reservoir, <laughs> but it's still this bright. The boats are starting to come off the water though. I'm sleepy. <laughs> 9, 10, but it's hard to like fix your clock like this, you know? If you're in St. George, Utah, here is your grocery store. Oh my gosh. So if it's never come up, I was a restaurant manager before COVID happened. Really, I worked at the restaurant until COVID happened. And a lot of the stuff from Carabas is in here. And I recognized the name as soon as I saw it. I said, I'm going in there because I know they have good quality food. I just stocked up. I'm excited now. We're gonna be eating good. I'm excited you can buy anything in here. I'm in freaking heaven. All right, so at this place, <laughs> checkout's at 12. Uh, the last place we were at, you know, State Park, Utah State Park. This place is 12, that place was two. We rushing now because uh, it's 12.20 and we're not out of here yet. But we're almost done, so let's get out of here. The thing I'm gonna remind you right now is don't forget to turn, if you're moving from full hook, hookups to boondocking, do not forget, do not forget, do not forget. Turn your air conditioner off unless you're going just barely anywhere it's going to kill the batteries turn your fridge back from electric to propane or it's going to drain your batteries fast turn your water heater off all things you are needing to remember so you don't kill your batteries simply in transit you're going to need it for when you get there all right so after a week at coral pink sand dunes and after a few days at sand hollow this is where we realize we do not have adequate ACs for Southern Utah. So what we're doing is we're heading to a different elevation to see if we can cool off for a little bit. Dixie National Forest, here we come. 